Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with Star Wars The Black Series Archive Edition Princess Leia Organa in Bush Disguise. Or Bush Disguise. I always said Bush as a kid, so we're just going to say Bush. Let's get into it! Let's begin with a look at the packaging. And it's pretty straightforward archive packaging. And here we have right here the assortment numbers. Star Wars The Black Series. Nice big blister showcasing the figure and accessories. Princess Leia Organa Bush Archive or Bush. I always called it Bush. Even though the way it's spelled is probably Bush. Anyway. Uh, some nice black and white or grayscale artwork there. Warning! Don't stick things in your pile that do not belong there. Four and up on the bottom. Uh-oh. It's an Amazon label. But small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print, symbols I'm not going to learn. And there is another barcode under here. And again, it's just a blister. So blistered all the way around nicely. Star Wars, the Black Series. And then there's some more of that nice grayscale art. Here is a picture of the original figure in its original packaging. The year was 2014. Princess Leia Organa Bush. With Han frozen in carbonite and held in Jawa's palace, the princess planned a rescue. Leia, disguised as Bounty Hunter Bush, brought Chewbacca to Jabba and later snuck to Han's Carbonite Slab. And trouble ensued from there. There it is in some other language. <laughs> Don't stick things in your French pile that do not belong there. Warning, attention, Akron! No stick things in any other language pile that do not belong there. And don't give it to babies. Small fine legally's main China print, Disney print, and some Hasbro print. That, my friends, is a look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and her accessories. And accessories first, handy dandy tweezer here. First thing that I can't hold on to with the tweezers is her thermal detonator a Yoto so molded mostly in plastic it does have that nice silver paint app around it and you notice it has a hole in it right there and then of course there's the activation switch on the top so Nice little detail. And now I go knocking her over. And I can't hold on to anything either. Here's her backpack. Which I'm sure is some kind of oxygen tank maybe. And there it's got a post on it that ports into her back. We'll get to that momentarily. Here's her bush or bosch mask, however you like to say it. I'm going to say a nice little paint app there. And it looks like it has some nice dry brushing going on. And it looks pretty nice. At least in my opinion. Your mileage, of course, may vary. 
And then here's her. I'm not sure exactly what this weapon is called. I'm just going to call it a staff. Although I'm sure it shoots lasers or tasers or something out of the end. So this in here. It's not highly detailed, but it's enough that it looks like the piece from the movie. And then at the end here. Some nice molded details there as well. Now let's take a look at the figure. And of course this is an older mold with just a better paint job. And I have to say, it's a decent looking take on this version of the character. It looks enough like Carrie Fisher that you know this is Princess Leia. Nice paint apps here on the stripe, right there in the middle of the chest, right here on the sides. I think this is a paint app as well. These are probably molded. This is probably molded. This is probably molded. This, of course, is just an overlay. And then the fingers of the gloves look painted. And then I'm not sure if this is the paint app or this is the paint app. All right, let's take a look at her articulation. She doesn't really look up too much, a little bit. I would say a little bit, but not much. She will look down that far. She's got a little bit of chicken neck in there. And this the neck is one piece on there. It looks like the hinge and ball, the classic hinge and ball from Hasbro. At least that's what I call it. She's got a little bit of waggle in there. She can do the full exorcist. At the shoulder, this piece appears to be like an overlay. Yeah, this piece is an overlay too, so it will bend a little bit when you move the arm up. But approximately 90 degrees there. And a 360 degree rotation. Nothing in the upper bicep. Hinge and swivel at the elbow. It rotates around 360 degrees and it gives you approximately a 90 degree bend at the wrist 360 degree rotation on an in and out hinge and in and out hinge on this side as well there's a cut here where the chest and the torso meet and that gives you some hula motion going on there she'll twist to the side a little bit this gets in the way so Twist to the side there a little bit so really with this strap in the way she's not gonna be twisting and turning too much nothing at the waist at the hips because of the overlay she can only give you that much of the splits she can kick forward that far and kick back about a step now, there is a cut at the upper thigh for a 360 degree rotation. Double hinged pinned knees. And that's a telltale giveaway that this is an older Black Series figure. But it gives you that much range of motion. So very nice. No boot cut, which is kind of disappointing. At the ankles, down that far. Tilts up that far. And forward facing pin for rocker so fairly good range of motion on this now one thing i do want to say i am not a fan of whatever this material is it's thick and it's very stiff and it does not want to stay where you place it i'm sure there's like some water tricks or whatever that i can do to it to make it stay but there it is uh, the, the port in her back in which the tanks attach and that does help with the cape a little bit but not not a whole lot I know it's maybe too far down I don't know because you can you can move it up further so maybe that's the issue 
That's a little better. Oops. Until it decides to come out of there. Now, as far as her holding the thermal detonator like she does in the movie, and not really. I could not. I tried a little bit to get her to hold it with the button like she does in the movie, but really, it doesn't. But that hole in it, you can kind of peg it onto her thumb, and that helps her hold it. And then when she's not using it, it does have storage. Right here, this post on her belt. go the helmet fits onto the head pretty well and it's it's tight and it's not it's not gonna just fall off so that's good and it really does not affect her range of movement for the head when she's wearing the helmet so that's a bonus as well and as far as the staff goes all she can really do with it is hold it in her hands And there we have it, my friends. A look at the figure and her accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have Princess Leia, Archive Edition in her Bounty Hunter disguise, next to the 40th anniversary retro-carded Princess Leia, or Ghana. And on the end, The Empire Strikes Back, 40th anniversary retro-carded Hoth, Princess Leia. Here we have Archive Edition Princess Leia and Bounty Hunter Disguise, next to the publishing program comic book Princess Leia Organa, and on the end, the regular release of Indoor Princess Leia. Here's Archive Edition. Princess Leia in Bounty Hunter Disguise, next to our final Black Series comparison, the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper, and to see how she starts comparing up with other lines, making his cameo appearance from the Marvel Legends series, we have Stan the Man Lee. Here's Princess Leia Organa in Bounty Hunter Disguise next to G.I. Joe Classified Series Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander and for a 7 inch scale comparison from Mattel we have the Masters of the Universe Masterverse 40th Anniversary He-Man. For final thoughts on Star Wars The Black Series Archive Edition, Princess Leia Organa in Bush or Bausch disguise, however you like to pronounce it, I have to say for an older mold, this one's actually pretty good. I did like it more than I thought I would. The likeness is almost there, and the the new deco for the heads base printing technology that they use does help a lot on this figure based on pictures I've seen of the original I missed the original black series release of this figure which is why I got this one uh, the mold is pretty nice the 
only real drawback I have to this figure is the cape. I just, the material seems to be just a bit too thick. In my opinion, your opinion, of course, may vary, and that's okay. But in my opinion, I, I would have liked, you know, a slightly thinner material for the cape. So that it could be, you know, posed easier, I guess. Wire would have really helped Hasbro. And the only, I will say there is one other drawback. The, the figure really doesn't hold the thermal detonator the way that you might like for her to. You know, if you're trying to make her hold it like she did in the movie with her finger on the, the activation button that's on the top, that's pretty much not going to happen. She pretty much can hold it in her hand. You know, you can just let her cradle it in her hand or use her thumb as a post for the port that's in the thermal detonator. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But other than that, again, you know, I like this mold. It it's for the most part it's pretty good uh, for the archive edition. And you know, I kind of wish they would do more updates than just the paint job. Uh, new legs really would have helped, I think, going either pinless or to the hinge and swivel. But on a case like this, I would think re-sculpting the existing leg to be pinless would probably be cheaper than just remolding a whole leg to make a hinge and swivel or you know the cheapest option which is what they gave us is again just a simple repaint for the most part well that does it for the review i hope that you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it only support from viewers like you make this programming possible each view does count and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further. Or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.